This is the first in a series of short podcasts designed for the families of children with chromosome 18 abnormalities. Our goal is to help people understand what a chromosome abnormality is so they can be better informed caregivers for their children, partners with their children's doctors, and advocates for further research. We will address questions like, what is a chromosome abnormality? Why did this happen to my child? And how can this affect my child? When originally confronted with this out-of-the-blue diagnosis, parents often find themselves trying to dig out from under an avalanche of questions. The first of which is, what is a chromosome abnormality? In order to understand what a chromosome abnormality is, we need to first understand what a chromosome is and some background about genetics. You have surely noticed that children tend to look like their parents, often having some features that are like their moms and some that are like their dads. This is because they receive half of their genetic material from each parent. It is your genetic material that are the instructions for every part of your body. These instructions are for virtually everything from how your ears are shaped to how you digest different foods to how susceptible you are to infections. These units of instruction within your body are essentially the cookbook of life. The individual units of instruction are called genes. Genes are organized within the cells of your body into packages called chromosomes, much like recipes are packaged into chapters in cookbooks. You may have heard the term the human genome. You can think of the human genome as the cookbook of life. Our cookbook of life has all the recipes you will ever need. Every cell in your body has a complete cookbook with all your recipes in it. Our cookbook is divided into chapters. Our genome is divided into chromosomes. Within each chapter of our cookbook, we have many recipes. Just as within each chromosome, there are many genes. The material that your cookbook is made of is paper, while the material that your genes, chromosomes, and genome are made of is called DNA. This is a picture of what chromosomes from a white blood cell actually look like when they are viewed under a light microscope. These particular chromosomes have been treated with a special stain that makes them appear to have black and white bands. However, this random assortment of chromosomes is very difficult to analyze for differences from normal. This is how they look after a computer manipulates the image so that they are paired up in numerical order. This makes analysis much easier to do. Chromosomes are found in pairs because one copy comes from your mother and one copy comes from your father. These particular chromosomes come from a male because you can see here in the lower right hand corner there is one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. If there were two X chromosomes this person would be a female. Also you can see in this picture that each chromosome has a sort of waistband called a centromere which makes the chromosome appear to have two arms. The short arm is always positioned on the top. The short arm is called the P arm for petite. The long arm is called the Q arm. Because it comes after P in the alphabet, don't try to make it make sense, just remember it because it's really important terminology that we'll use again and again. The analysis of chromosomes involves looking for missing pieces, duplicated pieces, rearrangements, or the loss or gain of entire chromosomes. Quite literally, anything you could do to this picture with scissors, glue, and a copy machine could really happen, and it does really happen. It's just that the majority are not compatible with life. The majority of babies conceived who have chromosome changes are miscarried early in pregnancy. But those babies with any of these types of chromosome changes that survive to be born are said to have chromosome abnormalities. Now you should be able to answer the question, what is a chromosome abnormality? A chromosome abnormality is a change in the content or structure of chromosomes. Because chromosomes are made up of genetic material, or your genes, the results can cause abnormal development or function. With regard to chromosome 18, these pictures illustrate the most common abnormalities of chromosome 18. Although now you appreciate that anything can happen, these are the most common conditions. First, in the upper left, is 18Q minus a deletion of any portion of the long arm or the Q arm. Someone could have a deletion that is smaller or larger than the one pictured. The deletion could also be from the end of the chromosome, like in the picture, and thus would be called a terminal deletion. 
or the deletion could be from somewhere within the middle of the long arm and as such would be called an interstitial deletion. It is also important to appreciate that one chromosome is normal and only one chromosome of the pair has the deletion. Shown in the center of the top row is 18p minus. Like 18q minus, the 18p deletions can be large or small, terminal or interstitial. It's just that in 18p minus, the deletion involves a short arm of one of the two copies of chromosome 18. Shown on the right side of the top row is ring 18. In this condition, one of the two chromosomes forms a ring. This means that by definition, the protective cap, called a telomere, is missing from each end of the chromosome. However, that does not mean that genes must be missing from both ends of the chromosome, but they usually are. Again, like the other two conditions, the size of the deletion from either end of the chromosome can be large or small. There could be a big Q-arm deletion and a small P-arm deletion, or two small deletions, or any combination. But the deletion of genes in ring chromosomes always involves the end of the chromosome arms. Shown on the lower left is tetrasomy 18p. In this condition, there are two normal copies of chromosome 18, along with an extra chromosome composed of two p arms of chromosome 18. This means there are a total of four copies of the chromosome 18p arm, which is why it's called tetrasomy 18p. The last condition shown on the lower right is trisomy 18, in which there are simply three copies of chromosome 18. This is by far the most common of the chromosome 18 syndromes. However, this condition is different from the other conditions because the children with trisomy 18 usually have a shortened lifespan and many die before their first birthday. To summarize what we've learned so far, your genetic material is packaged in chromosomes. The chromosomes contain genes. Genes are the instructions for all body development and function. All variety of chromosome copy number changes can occur, and when they do occur, it often alters normal development and function.